That is ah, fantastic. Those smiles are priceless. I mm -hmm. know. All right, so our weather is still <laughs> dangerous today. Definitely. So we still have extreme fire danger, the wind advisories, heat advisories, all still in place until tomorrow as these gusty Santa Ana winds continue to dry us out. Here's a live look right now with our Santa Monica Pier Cam. Looking through the Ferris wheel, you can see that flag blowing around. So the wind gusts are slowly not as strong as what we felt earlier. They're going to sort of relax in the next couple of hours and then pick back up again as we head into Monday morning. So live look outside. The winds have really kept things a little bit dusty. So we've seen some blowing dust around, especially near some of our foothill and valley communities. I just want to show you how hot it got today because with the Santa Ana winds, it's drying out the atmosphere. So temperatures today much hotter than yesterday. Camarillo broke a record today, topping out at 104. Uh, the record was 102. Your Belinda Lake Forest at 103. Riverside today 101. And then Van Nuys and Pomona all into the triple digits. Outside, things are slowly cooling down, but anyway, you look at it, it's still hot. We're not looking at triple digits, but we are still in the mid 90s for Van Nuys, 95 for San Bernardino. Nardino, 92 for Fullerton and upper 70s along the coast. So here's a look at our wind gusts. Usually, earlier, we had all of these colors picking up here for the gusts. So now the gusts are slowly relaxing, but again, it will pick up again. So we're not done just yet. Here's a look at just how strong those gusts were earlier this afternoon. Wiley Ridge and Ventura County saw gusts up to 54 miles per hour. Saugus 43, Camarillo 35, Chino 30, Simi Valley 27, and Fullerton in the teens. And because it's so dry, usually our dew points, which is another form of moisture measurement in our atmosphere normally will be in the 50s but take a look at just how dry it is we are looking at teens for Van Nuys teens for Ontario teens also for Big Bear 36 for Fullerton and 52 for LAX so with the future cast by 930 the winds are not going to be quite as strong as what we're feeling now and then by the time many of us head to bed at 1 30 we're going to start to see these winds pick back up again especially through the Santa Clarita Valley and through Oxnard and also in our usual wind prone areas which is uh, the foothill communities, and then by about 5:30 in the morning, and then once the sun comes up, we're looking at lots of winds really picking up once again. It's not going to be quite as strong for some areas like we felt today, but it's still definitely going to be gusty. And then once we head into Tuesday, the winds are going to relax. It's not going to be quite as strong, but because it's going to be so windy, we're looking at even hotter conditions tomorrow. 105 for Chatsworth, 100 for downtown LA, Norwalk also at 100, 100 for Long Beach, 101 for Fullerton. So we're looking at more of the hundreds that are popping up in places like Fullerton and Irvine, which we only saw today in the 90s. 101 for San Dimas, upper 80s for Huntington Beach, 87 for Dana Point, triple digits also for the IE, 101 for Riverside. And then the good news, though, once we get past tomorrow, we're going to look at slightly cooler conditions as that high pressure system weakens. And then by the end of the week, we're looking at temperatures closer to where we should be this time of year. And here's a look with the inland empires. We go from triple digits tomorrow to the mid 80s by Saturday. High desert community still pretty windy. We'll go from the mid 90s to about 82 for next weekend. And then for our mountain communities, we go from the low 70s to the upper 60s for Tuesday, and then we warm back up just slightly as we head into the middle of the week. But overall, the winds won't be quite as strong, though, by the time we head into the latter part of the work week. Back to you.